Hi, so I don't just make videos, I also write books. This is Esperanza's Party, Pirate's Daughter, The Island, Hard Times, Misfortune, and Adopted Coral. They're all available in paperback and Kindle. I've been published since September 6, 2017. Hayden walked down the street feeling high as a kite. He reached the corner and looked both ways before crossing. As he stood ready to step out, he noticed a limo waiting across the street uh, close to the corner. He thought this was odd. Don't go the usual way, he told himself. Instead of crossing at the corner and then turning right, he just turned to the right. A group of five men stepped out of the limo with guns in hand. He turned and looked over his shoulder at the men. He took in their guns. He started running just knowing somehow that they were after him. They chased him down. He was tackled and finally pinned to the sidewalk before the corner of the next street. Two men held him pressed hard to the sidewalk with his left arm held tightly behind his back. His face was shoved slightly to the side facing the street. He struggled to get free, but the men just held him too tight. The limo had turned around by that time. It held it pulled up alongside them. Hayden was now still, with the gun held hard to the back of his head. The back passenger side door opened. He, I mean, The men picked him up bodily, shoved him into the limo, hopped in themselves, and shut the doors. Hayden started to yell, help, but got a gun smashed in his face for the trouble. Puh. He groaned as he started to pass out. Please check out all six of my books on Amazon.com. Please buy my books and have a great day. So, we were busy trying to get uh, the blueberries back to the Forest of Valor. <laughs> my friends, the trolls, would love you. Because it wasn't kicking in that we had harvested the blueberries. There we go. The fourth piece of Moana's memory. Investigate it. Heard a little peaky dude. Moana had a breakthrough. Talk to her. Oh, Natalie, how can I forget about my friend Pua? That's his name, Pua. That cute little pig must be so scared. Pua was, wasn't was with us when Maui and I left the village after the forgetting. Pua must be hiding here somewhere. Don't blame yourself. That's nice of you to say. Do you think you could help me find my friend? I will help you find Pua because you're my friend. Thank you. I really appreciate your friendship. Pua must be hiding somewhere in the village. I bet we can lure Pua out of hiding with something to eat. Coconuts would be perfect. Okay, gather three coconuts. And if I didn't say it, hi. Oh, it was many. Okay. Um, maybe I didn't bring the coconuts over yet? Oh, there's coconuts.
Bring the coconuts to Moana. Where is Moana? I thought she was following us. She was. My husband's over here going, no. It's like, uh, she was following us. There she goes. Hey, I could use your help. Over the coconuts. Hey. I have everything I need. Thank you. With these coconuts, I can figure out a way to lure Pua out. Oh, another leader shard. Pick up the leader shard. Bring the Leo Shard to Moana. Well, technically, it said bring Moana the Leo Shard. Hi. Thank you, Natalie. I'll hold on to this shard along with the other one. And I'll figure out a way to lure Pua out of hiding. When it's ready, I'll let you know so we can find Pua together. <gasps> Okay, so now we need to go and start giving people their favorite stuff, I guess, so we can try to get them to um, get to the next level. Oh, we need to find Merlin. She wants hot cocoa. Okay. Why is it telling me you're online again? Okay, we need milk and cocoa. Yeah. Which means I need to go over to my garden and hope that I've got the cocoa. <coughs> Oh, there's more coconuts. Okay. And cherries. There's coconuts. Okay, now we can go over and make Mother Gothel's hot chocolate. Hot cocoa. It just totally blew up in here. Okay, so... And we give her her hot chocolate. <laughs> and now she's level five. Hello. 
and I'm curious what she wants today. Lobster roll, yellow nostrum, and eggplant. We'll have to work on that. He wants coffee, he wants veggie pasta. Excuse me. Oh, hey. Tropical pop, tuna, and a cucumber. Thanks, kid. I'll have to work on that too. It's about time. <laughs> and he reached level four. Oh, the hair. Okay. Okay. Selfie with Merlin. Collect star coins. And we still have to take three days out and give Donald his favorite stuff. Assuming this is working. Oh, I see him now. Yeah, <laughs> things, well, they always seem to have a bit more magic when you're around, Natalie. Uh, oh! That's not what we needed. I tip my hat to you, it, though I, I prefer not to take it off. There we go. Catch fish in the sunlit plateau. Okay. And take a picture. Okay. Um, what did we just come up with? Catch fish in the sunlit plateau. What does Donald want anyway? Veggie casserole, pike, and green passion lily. Okay.
Well, let's see if I have the pike first. No. Okay. Forest of Valor. Oh, that should be easy. Oh, hey. Okay, hold on. So, veggie casserole seems to be vegetable, vegetable, cheese, spice. Yeah, vegetable, vegetable, cheese, spice. So, I've got butter. I don't know if I have cheese. Nope. And if I can get the cheese, Good if you add some improvements to Chez Remy, our we chef can handle more orders and that'll mean happier customers. <laughs> 25,000. Drop me down to 8,177. Ah, uh, isn't that a sight? What a fine establishment, and you're sure to see me back here right soon. Probably should have bought six, but okay. So I said it was vegetable, vegetable, cheese, and spice. Veggie casserole. Okay.
Green passion lily. And what was the other thing you wanted? A pike. Upgrade Mermaid's Restaurant three times. Still working on getting the other 6,000. Well, not quite 6,000 that I need for that. There we go. That's a carp. And not a pike. That's a perch. Just a double check. Forest of Valor. Nope. <coughs> <coughs> Just seaweed. Nope, I missed. Ooh. Uh, that looks like a mermaid tail. Still too far away. It's a bass. And that's a bass. It said we're supposed to be able to get pike.
Rainbow Trout. Rainbow Trout again. Oh, I missed. There we go. Oop. And another perch. Ooh, maybe that'll be it. Finally. Okay, where is Donald? Donald is at Donald's house. Oh, Donald's house, duh. I mean, I can get there that way, too, but this is quicker. Hi. Why do you look so upset? Hey, Natalie. Who do you think you are? I just heard you call me a blockhead. I didn't say that. You didn't? I could have sworn I heard you say that. You miss her. Hmm, maybe. But I'm going to keep my eye on you. What a great day for fishing. Well, I got your veggie casserole. Ooh, which brought him up to level nine. Awesome. And the green passion lily. I don't know why, but he really likes green passion lilies. Oh, okay. 
So, bring gifts. Um, we brought 40 out of 140. Or, no, 41 out of 40, and then now we need 140. Have a daily discussion. Bring a friend their favorite gift. Okay, catch fish in the sunlit plateau. So we're trying to get as much of this stuff done today as possible. So then the stuff that is impossible to do, like talk to Anna, um, I think Anna is one of those things that we can do soon. But I'm not sure. Okay, so that should count as seven. Nine. Yeah, nine. Oh, we'll just keep it there. There we go. Ten. <coughs> oh, okay. Eleven. Twelve. Twelve. Yep. Okay, so we've got nine thousand eight hundred and twenty five. I've got a question. And I gotta go to the castle to find out.
and oh On the other side of this door, you'll find a land of fjords and meadows, as well as a very powerful woman with the ability to control ice and snow. Use your dream light to open the way. I was trying to open up the Forgotten Lands, but this is a little more important. Bravo, you've opened the Frozen Realm. Okay, so this is Anna. Oh, uh, hi. Okay, think, Anna, think. Mm -hmm. You can figure this out. You got this. Um, oh, hey, a person. I mean, of course you're a person. It's just that I, you know what, never mind. Mm. Do you think you could help me with something? My sister's somewhere in these woods, and in case you haven't noticed, everything is kind of on fire right now. Well, we'll start out with, who are you? Me? Oh, I'm Anna. Actually, Queen Anna of Arendelle. I'm still not totally used to that. You're a queen? That's so cool. <laughs> Thanks. I guess it is, isn't it? But please just call me Anna. I came to the Enchanted Forest to visit my sister Elsa. I'm Natalie. What is this place? Oh. This is the Enchanted Forest. Usually the spirits of nature live here in peace. But something's thrown them out of balance. Mm -hmm. My sister also went to investigate, but she hasn't come back yet. I've looked everywhere for her, and now there's all this fire blocking the way. Don't worry, we'll find her. We just have to keep cool heads. <laughs> Funny you say that. If my sister Elsa was here... We could literally keep a cool head. Oh. Because she has magic ice powers. Right. Probably not the... Probably not the time for a joke. What can I do to help? I can do some magic. Maybe I can help solve whatever's going on. That would be amazing. We need to find a way to calm the spirits of nature. And we probably should start with Bruni the fire spirit. So it doesn't burn down the whole forest. How do you calm fire? Well, first we need to find it. Bruni looks like the cutest little salamander and it's really shy. I'm sure it didn't mean to cause all this trouble. It's probably just scared. Okay, so let's go find it. Right, there's just one slight problem. Bruni is somewhere deep in the forest, and there are all these fires blocking the way. We need to find a way to extinguish them. Don't worry, my magic watering can should do the trick. Magic watering? Okay, I'm just going to go with it. Oh, and here, Elsa gave me these fireproof gloves so we can hold Bruni and not get burned. Well, I'm ready when you are. Let's go get rid of all that fire and find ourselves <coughs> fire spirits. <coughs> You 
Use the watering can to clear a path through the fire. Okay. I don't know which way I need to go. No? Okay. I'll just stick with the watering can then. Not eating lobsters raw. <laughs> Which brings up the question of can you eat lobsters raw? Okay. Okay. Oh, good. Return to Anna. If you can remember how you got here. Wow, you've really got the touch. Bernice seems so happy and calm. I don't suppose you saw my sister anywhere. Fred not. That's okay. I guess we'll just need to go deeper into the forest. There's one slight problem, though. A huge earth giant is blocking the way. An earth giant? <sighs> Yes, here, follow me, I'll show you. Ooh, thanks. Hey, you're here. See what I mean? The earth giant fell asleep over there and now it's blocking the path. We have to wake it up, but we've got to be careful. They can be a bit grumpy. <laughs> Which I totally get. Just ask my sister. I am not much of a morning person. Not me. I'm always ready to seize the day. 
You sound like Elsa. I'm actually a little jealous. I could totally take a nap right now. But I won't because we have a force to save. So we've got one missing sister and one slumbering earth giant. How do we wake this thing up? Well, there's one thing that always wakes me right up. The smell of food. Yeah. One gigantic breakfast coming up. Because I don't know what it said. I clicked off of it too soon. Sorry. Oh, we could make it something Elsa and I used to make when we were little. Stone soup. <laughs> On days, the gardener would give us the ingredients, and we'd, oh, on sunny days, the gardeners would give us the ingredients, and we'd pretend we were cooking for the whole kingdom. We need some craggy rocks and a broth of oregano and basil. The smell of that should wake our giant friend in no time. I'm sure if we look around here, we could find just the right craggy rocks. But we might have to look somewhere else to find the rest of the ingredients. Once we have the ingredients, let's cook the stone soup and put it on the pile of rocks by the earth giant's foot. Okay, search for craggy rocks. Oh, you just pick it up. Okay. And we've already got the basil and the oregano. Oh, cook it, cook it, cook it. Where? Oh. Okay, stone soup. It's a five-star recipe, apparently. It takes three stones, one basil, and one oregano. Place the stone soup on the pile of... On the pile of rocks near the earth giant's foot. I was having a problem because I couldn't figure out how to get out. Talk to Anna. Ooh, I can smell that stone soup from here. I almost want to sneak over and try a little bit. Uh, maybe don't. Of course, that would be silly. But it is kind of fun to pretend. Plus, the earth giant might not appreciate our tasting its soup. Hey, do you hear that rumbling? The earth giant's starting to wake up. Hurry, we need to hide. Phew, it worked. The earth giant woke up and left. But the path's still blocked. The ground is full of holes and rocks. Don't worry, I have a magic pickaxe and a magic shovel we can use. Huh? Wait, so in addition to a, wad a magic watering can, you also have a magic pickaxe and a magic shovel? 
What are you going to use next? A magic fishing rod? Uh, well, actually. Wow, okay. Uh, maybe you can tell me about the rest of your magic items later. We need to keep exploring the forest. My sister has to be here somewhere. Okay, that one's too big, apparently. You know, I was just thinking it would be really bad if Elsa had a cold. Because she'd probably be going at you and blowing every, you know, and blowing ice everywhere. I guess we gotta get all of the little spots. Because it's not triggering. That or we gotta go this way. Wow, am I happy to see you? Look, there's Elsa. But she's on the other side of that raging river and the bridge is completely flooded. We need to calm the water spirit. That might be a problem. I don't see the water spirit anywhere around here. Wait a second, the river is raging. But that pond over there is completely calm. Whoa. Let's go investigate. think there's something glowing at the bottom. Uh, I wish there was a way to fish it up. Yeah. Wait, do you actually have a magic fishing rod or was that a joke? I actually have a magic fishing rod. <laughs> wow. Well, then get fishing. We need to see whatever's glowing at the bottom of that pond.
on his engagement ring. Wow, am I happy to see you. My engagement ring, what is it doing here? Oh, I must have dropped it in the pond while I was looking for Elsa earlier. My ring doesn't belong in these waters. The metal and the stone aren't native to the enchanted forest. Whoa. I'll bet this is why the water spirit was upset. And look, now that we've removed my ring, the waters are calm. And the bridge isn't flooded anymore. The winds are still pretty wild, though. But now that we've found my sister, we can try to calm the wind spirit together. I can't wait to meet Elsa. After everything you've done to help me, I know she'll want to meet you, too. Let's go talk to her. Hello, Natalie. My sister tells me you helped her get through the forest safely and calm the other spirits of nature. I can't thank you enough. Don't mention it. Helping people is what I do. That's very kind of you. Do you think you could help me with one last thing? I've been trying to calm Gale, the, water, the wind spirit. It's usually very playful, but when the water spirit got upset, Gail was scared. I know Gail trusts me, but it's so agitated, I'm not sure it can hear me clearly. I have an idea. We should put wind chimes in the trees so the spirit of nature can create music. I don't know if Gail understands what music is, but it's definitely worth a try. I'll try. I'll keep trying to calm Gale while you make the chimes. I'll need soft wood for the structure and tubes, some iron ingots for the striker, and I'll need something to hold it together. Here, take this twine I found. Gale was tossing it around earlier. Maybe you can use that to assemble everything. Thanks. I'll be back with the wind chime soon. Goodbye. Um. We have everything. We just need to craft it. Oh, okay. Oh, and we changed our outfit and got the neat gloves. And this is why it's always good to stockpile stuff. Oh, I need three of them. I didn't realize that. Now, turn to the frozen realm and find your way back to Elsa. Oh, okay. 
We just need a thousand one hundred and twenty five more and we can open up that realm next to us. Place the wind chimes in different trees near Elsa. I can't find Elsa. Because I went the wrong way. Okay, in trees near Elsa. Thank you for helping me calm Gale. The spirits of nature are back in harmony. And the enchanted forest is in balance again. Sounds like your work is done here. Why not come visit my village? I want to bring balance there, too. I'd love to visit your village, but for now, my place is here in the enchanted forest. I have to make sure that nothing else goes wrong. Yes. But after all you've done to help, I am I am rather curious about where you come from. Oh. I promise to visit your village one day. You know, there's something magical about you. Welcoming Anna. Talk to Anna in the Frozen Realm and invite her to Dreamlight Valley. Okay. Wow, everything appears calm. Thank you so much for your help. Of course, for Elsa and me, there's always another adventure waiting around the corner. I wonder what it'll be this time. Well, I come from this place called Dreamlight Valley, and I think you'd really like it. Yeah. Ooh, tell me about it. There's food. Lots of it. 
food. Food like chocolate. I don't think you'll be disappointed. Say no more, Natalie. After everything you've done to help us, I can't wait to see where you're from. Lead the way. Return to Dreamlight Valley. Welcome, Anna. Welcome, Anna, in Dreamlight Valley. Apparently, I should hit save. Hold on. Okay, so we're not that far bad. It says Chakna on it in the frozen robe and invite her to Dream Lake Valley. <laughs> Hopefully, it won't just freeze up. Again. Wow, am I happy to see you. Um, Okay, return to Dreamlight Valley. Hit save. Really? Okay. Okay, talk to Anna. Oh, wow, this place is so different from Arendelle, and yet it feels oddly familiar. Wait, I've been here before, haven't I? Before the forgetting, of course, I remember now. Thank you so much for bringing me here. I'll see, I'll see you soon, but right now I have got to find Kristoff. There's something I need to warn you about, Anna. It's a long story, but to save the village, Kristoff had to give up his memories of you. It was all part of a magic spell. He won't remember who you are. I'm sorry. It's not his fault. What? No, that isn't possible. I'm sure he would do everything he could to save this place. But I don't care what kind of magic spell Kristoff is under. Our love, is, our love isn't fragile. When he sees my face, he'll remember me. 
right? You're right. Love is the most powerful magic. I'll just go talk to him. Thanks for the warning, Natalie. Now. What does it say Anna wants? Chili pepper puffs, snow white gooseberry pie, and shiny amethyst. Okay, let's see if I got the shiny amethyst. What did I put in here again? Food. Okay. Okay, I think I'm going to put the fish over here. Frosted Heights and the Forgotten Lands. Gotta say though, this is more fun when you can go on the other side over there. We got gold and gold. And gold and gold. <sighs> See, it's more fun when you can go on the other side over here and get that spot and that spot and there's another spot over there I think
Darn, I don't have 10,000. some more oh fish at the sunlit plateau I'm sure the fishing spots have come up by now oh wait went it on a one again Snow White's Gooseberry Pie and Chili Pepper Puffs. Except I don't think we got the Chili Peppers. Yeah, we have Bell Pepper Puffs. I don't see chili pepper puffs. Oh, we didn't do Snow White's Gooseberry Pie yet? Okay. Okay, so... I don't have gooseberries. Seems a little strange. Well, Mr. Samson, I hate to disturb you again, my sleeping beauty. Oh, wait. Gooseberries. Wheat and butter. Snow White's Gooseberry Pie. Now we need to find the chili pepper puffs. I know I got chili peppers in them, so that's about it. Cheese, eggs, and chili peppers. <coughs> Fifteen thousand. Oi. Thank you kindly. Oh, we got chili peppers. Just gotta grow them.
Okay, I think this is the game telling me just quit. So, I'm determined. And I'm a little mad because I just found out that the gooseberry pie is poof. Um... But I guess that means that we saw the ingredients. I can't wait until she can be a human. Okay. Give Elsa her favorite things. Well, she's not here yet. But it's still gonna hold us to it, and I'm, sh I'm sure of that. Okay, so just to make for dang sure. We're close. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Okay. So. I know you're thinking that. I just made it. I don't know how to make it. Gooseberry, wheat, and butter. There we go. And now I gotta go out and get the gooseberries again. just in case it goes crazy again. <coughs> Gooseberry. Wheat. Butter.
I know, you probably think I'm going crazy with this thing, but, you know, with this, uh, You know what? We had an elixir. I don't know if it works after you've already watered it. Okay. No, apparently it doesn't. Dang it. Okay. There we go. Oh, eggs, cheese, and chili peppers. Okay. to go buy more cheese. I mean eggs. Eggs, 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 eggs. He just charged me two hundred and twenty dollars. Oh wait, um eggs and cheese. Sounds like an omelet. Okay. Bully base. And please don't say bless you. It's a Harry Potter thing. Um... Um, it's a Harry Potter thing, I want to say, from Goblet of Fire. If you've never read the book, please do so. I think he says bless you also in the um, movie, but I don't know. I don't really like the movies because they're not close enough to the book. Oh, 
Okay, now we can go find Anna, assuming that the map is working. You know what? That didn't help. There's Anna. She's shopping. Okay. Thank you. Not that table. Thank you kindly. Anna, what you? No. Bye -bye now. Hi. Finally. Right. Oosh, yeah. level three already. Cool. Um, gardening. Would you like to do something together? Oh. Oh, greetings, no, what? Natalie, just who I wanted to see. I know something we could do to so Elsa feels welcome when she visits Dreamlight Valley. Do you have time to help me? What do you need? I want to find somewhere that she feels <laughs> like it's <coughs> made just for Elsa. Somewhere somewhere cold? That would be fine. Cold never bothers Elsa. But I want to find something more than that. There's an ice cavern I saw on the other side of the Forest of Valor that reminds me of the amazing ice structures Elsa builds. Mm -hmm. I need your help to get there because of these tree stumps blocking the bridge. Follow me. I'll show you. This is the path to the ice cavern, and as soon, I mean, as you can see, we've got a problem blocking our way. I tried to dig up the stumps, but they're pretty fierce. The roots are all dug in. I don't think a regular shovel is going to get this done. Lucky you, I've got my magic shovel right here. Of course you have a magic shovel. You're the best, Natalie. Come, let's clear the bridge. Uh-oh. 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 What? I don't think even my shovel is going to do the trick. Those things look like they feed off of dark magic. Okay. Okay. We just have to think of something else. I can't wait for Elsa to see this place. You're a good sister, Anna. Thanks, Natalie. And you're a good friend. Ah. Wait a second. I've got it. The other day, I was looking at the books in my library and found a book about mystical flora and fauna. 
It was pretty technical, but I bet it has the answer to clearing these stumps away. Let's go find that book at my house. Talk to Anna about the stumps blocking the bridge in the forest. Search for the right book in Anna's house. Okay, so we're going to stop the video here because it's getting pretty long. Oh, my gosh. Um, I hope you're having a great day. Know that you are enough. Know that no problem is here forever. And I'll see you in the next video. So, I don't just make videos. I also write books. They're available on Amazon.com in paperback and Kindle. We're still waiting on the hardbacks. Sorry. Um, please check out all six of my books. Please buy my books. And have a great day.